Okay, so welcome to the Western Way. Um, the introduction for this is going to be a little bit complicated and a little bit hard for me to get in one go, so bear with me. Um, this trail is a little over 200 kilometers long and it goes down the west coast and um, through Mayo and Galway and um, through some of the most remote parts of Ireland. And it's going to be, well, it's actually two trails. It is our 33rd and 34th trail of this project. Um, the Western Way has two halves, the Mayo section and the Galway section. The start or end point in Galway is Uchtdraard and then you go up through uh, Linan, Newport, Westport, up through um, the Neffins and then in North Mayo you have a couple of options for your start or end point. Um, the National Trails Office um, on their website irishtrails.ie um, list that start or end point as Ballycastle and it is the National Trails Office that we get our information for this 4,000 kilometre walking project so that is where we typically base our start and end points from. Um, however there is a linking section from there to the end of the Sligo Way which we didn't know about um, so this linking section goes from Ballycastle to Ballina and Ballina to Bunny Collin. Um, so for this trail, we actually um, did some of the section from Ballina to Ballycastle. Um, we went through some beautiful forestry and then just kind of up and along a lot of roads, um, a long lot of roads, uh, and through the village of Kalala. Um, well, the villages, well, Kalala itself was gorgeous and the forestry was really, really nice walking. It was a like 30 kilometers of road and I feel like a lot of that linker section is a lot of road um, so I guess it's your personal preference if you want to do that section so that was our day one and I think we'll start the video now on our day two um, leaving Ballycastle and the hostel there I think this would have been a really nice view, except for somehow we managed to get out here on the first day in 50 days that it's been raining. Um, yeah, well, it still looks nice. Though. So, not a lot of things make me particularly happy, but one of the things that does is miles and miles of boardwalk. It makes me so happy to see, especially over what would otherwise be completely impossible. This boardwalk just goes on forever. <sighs> Thank you, Quilcha, for putting this here. Um, yeah, this is great, because we've been just on, on Forest Road for the last, the whole day, and um, this is just a nice change of pace. I feel like you can actually get faster pace on this stuff anyway. For some reason, I don't know what it is about it. But you just feel like you're going further. And the weather is lifting a little bit. We actually have a view for the first time all day.
Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna make this quick because there are really a lot of midges in Mayo. Um, so this is, I guess, our third day on this trail. We are walking from Ballycorick to, there's a bothy outside of Newport, and we're gonna do that today. Just now, there's a long section on the N59 that you should just avoid. Um, when you get to the N59, just thumb a lift because you don't want to walk on that. Um, this is what we did. So, yeah, um, hopefully that will get moved in the near future. Um, it's a bit jarring after, you know, eight or nine hours in some of the most remote countryside in Ireland with absolutely no houses or anything to suddenly just land on this end road where there's 50 cars going at 50, uh, going fast. Um, it's kind of scary. So anyway, today we're walking that way through those mountains um, towards, well maybe that way. We're walking in one of these directions um, towards Newport where we are going to stop well, outside of Newport, at this body. Uh. <sighs> We've got more food than we usually would, because this is a very remote trail. And for the first time, ever since we started walking, I've wanted to have walking poles. There's just a certain weight limit after which it kind of makes sense to be able to lean down on your arms. But, you know. As you may or may not know, we um, took some time off. It was my birthday, we had some other family events, um, there was also a drought and multiple forest fires, um, which we decided we didn't want to be in. Um, so we took some time off that was slightly longer than we planned, um, but we are back out. Getting moving again after sitting around for a while it's always kind of tricky. I found yesterday really hard. It was um, really misty, really, really kind of just like wetty, damp, like in a cloud all day. And this whole trail seems to be 90% forestry roads, um, which are usually and typically um, like unused, um, like straightforward but just not really my favorite kind of walking and because it's such a remote trail we are carrying a lot more food than we normally carry um, so the bags are heavier um, I have new boots which are taking more time to break in than I thought so yesterday just kind of ended with some tears maybe and some over exhaustion and you know there are always low days and it's not necessarily the the fault of the trail if a day is a low day they just happen yeah but today's walking has been also a hold on forestry roads exclusively forestry roads. We had a teeny bit of, ro of road road here and there, I think. Only at the very, very beginning. It's, al it's almost impressive just how much forestry roads there can be. Um, and we met a couple of cars, which is really bizarre. Um, we're in the middle of nowhere and it's so silent and like nothing's happening. Um, <laughs> and then a car rounds a corner. So that was really bizarre feeling, but it is a Saturday. Um, which we kind of forget that weekends exist and that people try and get outdoors. We reached um, this bothy pretty early in the day, like, I don't know, three o'clock maybe, um, which was our end goal for today, just so that we could have a not too strenuous a day 
we did think it would take us longer to get here than it did um but my feet were still were like already burning by the time we made it here um so we decided not to keep going um but it's a much more like it's like right in a car park um it's a lot busier than we expected but we also can't pass up the one and only bothy that we might see on the whole the whole um project reading a sign on the wall of the bathy um, it discusses how this land has been was bought for forestry and started to be forested and then they decided it was better served as a nature reserve and um, so it is slowly being rewilded and that all the forestry roads will eventually just turn back to grassy trails and that's the the hope for the trails in this area and that they're going to build more bothies and shelters um, throughout the the thousands and thousands of hectares um, to make it a really accessible but wild part of the country which gives me a lot of hope I feel like I feel like it would be a lot nicer when it is more like grass that you're walking on than compacted stone. Um, and you could definitely see it. Like the, the last half of today was absolutely gorgeous. The views and the, the landscape and, and you can see why this area is being rewilded. Um, so they're hoping to bring back uh, indigenous animals like red squirrels and um, trees like birch and other trees um, <laughs> I can't quite remember the whole sign okay but yeah seeing that sign gave me a bit of hope and lifted my spirits a bit um, That's not too bad. I have so many bites on my face. They're so sore. It's so hard not to absentmindedly scratch at them. And that's why I actually have a hat on. It's not really cold enough to need it, but I have yesterday, but yesterday we got eaten alive and I have bites all, all over my ears. And this is to stop me from touching them and to stop anything from touching them as much as possible. so many bites it's so sore everywhere you want to come there? Uh, it's surprisingly hard on my legs Welcome to day four. Uh, <laughs> so we slept in the bathy last night and to be honest, neither of us slept very well. People kind of arrived at half 12, saw that we were sleeping there and then left again. <laughs> um, but we are on our way to Newport and then hopefully on to Westport. Um, the start of today was actually really nice. And now we're back onto road. And this is gonna be road for the next hour and a half or so into Newport where we'll get a coffee. That's as far as I planned.
the section between Newport and Westport is all on the Greenway, which is a walking and cycling path that's actually just a cycling path that you can also walk on. Um, I'm not really complaining, it's pretty good. It's about, you know, 40% as stressful as just walking on the road would be. Um, because cyclists don't make any noise. Can we please like start a nationwide thing that cyclists will say on your left or on your right when they pass you? Because like, multiple times I've turned around and been like, OH MY GOD! SOMEONE! And they're like right on my heel or something. Again, I'm not complaining. This is better by a lot than walking on the end road. Or the old route, which would have been an extra 10k. Um, and this particular spot is quite nice actually. Also some benches, benches would be good. Anyway, we're almost in Westport. There's a campsite there, so we're going to camp there. Um, get a coffee, eat some chips. Also, yeah, that's the, the boundary between two parishes, you see? Oh. Parish of Comina and Parish of Westport on the other side. This is really nice. Thank you to the guy who constructed it. This is great. Love it. Very, um, yeah. Um, so at the end of all of our videos, we like to thank the patrons, without which we would not be able to do this. Um, so we've gotten a few new ones lately, so I'd like to say thank you to Garrett Cahill, Alan Grant, Tempest Frangit and Colin Whitaker. I'm really impressed that I managed to remember four names. Yeah, thank you guys. Um, this would be impossible without your support. Also, please do subscribe to Tough Souls for our final nine trails. We're almost there. We're almost at 500 subscribers. That would be really exciting to break before we actually finish the trails. So um, please do subscribe. It's that button down there. Um, we really appreciate it. Also check out our blog and our Instagram and other social media things. Links are in the description. Okay, YouTube part over. <laughs>